He loves me now. He loves me not. He loves me now. He loves me not. He loves me now. He loves me not. If only he loved me. If only he truly, truly loved me. I just don't get it. I do all this reading and research thinking that maybe my true love will come for me. Maybe he won't come for me. It's just... I don't know where to start. I don't know where to begin. So... I come to you. I ask you everything. So tell me, sisters, what am I gonna do? Just chill out. <laughs> what do you mean chill out? Turn and look at me. Look at me. Just talk to me, Elizabeth, please. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. What? What do you want me to say to you? Tell me that he loves me. Oh, sister, sister, sister. If we don't know what is better for us, we know love will find us. We just gotta wait patiently. I have been waiting patiently. And you obviously think he doesn't love you enough? Well, he didn't tell me all of that. Well, you, you gotta talk to him. Okay, you know what? Let me tell you how things are going. Sometimes, when you're with a guy, Calamari, you have to remember a few things. Because I'm Elizabeth, I know what I'm speaking of. And I can tell you all the things that I know, okay? Like what? Like what could I do? He doesn't even look at me that, that much. To even begin to notice what I do for, for him. We met at school, apparently at recess. <laughs> yeah, that's all I had to say. Wait, so you've been knowing him since recess? Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Calamari. I know what it's like to have a guy. I know what it's like when they're not always with us. Sometimes we have to do things in a different way. A different perspective. You understand? Come on. It's just he always used to talk to me. Always. He never forgets how we used to talk. It's just not like him, really. <sighs> I remember the first time when I was in love with a man. <laughs> I used to give him everything I wanted, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, what can I say? I was somewhat of a girl. Yeah, but he's different. He's impressive. He sings to me sometimes. He talks to me. He has such a dreamy voice. Yeah, well, sometimes these guys can be a little critical. Come on, Calamari. I'll show you what I mean. Like, critical. See, men do things when they feel like they have to. But my line is telling me something different. Whoa, whoa, careful! You almost tripped me over there. I'm sorry, I just can't control it. <laughs> can't control it! <laughs> I'm just break up. Look, Calamari. I know what it's like to be broken up for a little bit. It is very hard. For you, of course. Of course, for tactic teams, I call my friends over and they help us, okay? Like, whatever. <laughs> I try to get help. Sometimes, you just gotta bend by the rules sometimes. Sometimes you gotta let people know what you are up front and not what you are behind some closed door. It won't work that way, you know what I mean? That's just how things are, Calamari. We're gonna face it. Live up to it. Live up to the expectations. Just a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's different for me. Much different. Hey! When you guys talk about love, I have my own personal problems. I always go by my love book, but none of these boys like to talk to me. And that's because you don't talk normal like most girls. What's that supposed to mean? You have a communicating chip in your eye. I know what I have in my eye. I don't need to be corrected, mister. It's misses to you. Just to think we're sisters and we're related twins. <laughs> I 
can say what they say about me. <laughs> yeah, but this is different. This is about Calamari. She's the one... Hey, hey. She's the one dealing with the situation, okay? You just butted in talking about her and what she does for a living. You have no obvious idea what she's possibly melting them down from her own function. It's not just a own function, Pete, girls. Girls, look. It's like I go some places and I turn around and he still doesn't talk to me. I don't understand that. Guys should be more influential when they talk about you and I. It makes no sense for a guy not to only not be there, but not to say a word is just kind of like out of this world. Don't worry. Don't worry, sisters. We always figure a way. Trust me. We always figure a way as girls. Us girls have to remember that it's what we decide to do, technically speaking. Because I know what you're going through, Calamari. It's been a very hard reset for you. And you're probably wondering why he doesn't talk to you ever again. I can see that! Like, forget him! You need to, like... Okay, you know what? Has your mom ever told you you were a princess when you were first born? A lot of times, she does. Well, she needs to tell you a lot of times because it has to work. Yeah, tell them to stop making all them weird phone calls. Stay out of this, Brittany! I'm talking to Calamari! Sorry. Yeah. Like, I don't mean to be, like, all moody and stuff, but come on! We gotta think of something, y'all! We gotta think of something. Vanilla White is on her way. She probably hears us talking about it right now. Yeah, she probably is. Yeah, like, just think about it. I heard you guys were talking. Yeah, we're talking about something. <sighs> Welcome to the club, Vanilla White. What do you want to speak about? Well, on my behalf, how I feel about Calamari. She has a right to be mad. I mean, a boy doesn't see her that much, really. Yeah, you can say that again. Only when she can see her, it's only once in a while. Yeah, well, I guess she has a hard time talking. No, turn around, look at me. Look at me when I'm talking to you. She's trying her best. Give her a chance, okay? It's not her fault that she's single right now. All right. Hey, where are you going? Okay, okay, it's gonna be like that, Vanilla White? Yeah, I guess. <sighs> oh, wow. <laughs> to show you that you think you know love. Yeah, well, this love strikes a little different. This love strikes with a different opponent. You just somehow just thought it would be cool to say something without even knowing why you're saying it. How do you feel about that, Vanilla White? Huh. Everything's kind of the same, if you look at it differently, really. Yeah, well, I look at it totally serious because there are things happening to people. People like us, we don't deserve um, to be single like this forever. We have to have someone with us. I rest my case there. I said what I had to say, and I made sure everyone listened. But no one gets me, I guess. It's not that no one gets you, you just don't know what you're saying. I do know what I'm saying. I say it all the time, 24-7. It's what I do for a living, okay? You better believe it. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, but my girl is gone. My boy is gone. You just said your girl's gone. Yeah, my girl. Who? Susan, I met her at, at school one time. It's hard for me to go through it because she's not here now, and now I'm like all by myself. Well, I'm sorry about that. It's okay, I guess. I'm gonna lay down on the ground for a little bit. Do what you gotta do, sister. Do what you gotta do. We all go through our moods every day, and it happens 24 7 sometimes. Even when the times are different, I must admit, like, this is a much different for me. I'm gonna lay down too. This is much different for me too, Calamari. I mean, I know things are like a little hard nowadays, but. We gotta realize things are happening for different reasons and different purposes. <laughs> what are you coughing?
coughing for? I have allergies. Can't you understand? I don't feel well. Well, I'm sorry that you don't feel well, but you don't be coughing on everything. It's sorry for you, though. It's sorry for you, though. My life is a little bit different. Around here, us girls have to remember something about these men. They have a hard time on budgeting their time for us. So we have to feel like we gotta do everything else for them. Makes no sense to me when you think about it. You know? Yeah, I guess if you were the only one around. Yeah. Just like my man. He left me just like that. And I didn't give a care. Because I realized I could have my life much better without him. You know? And just the things he says. Like, when he talks to me, I'm like, oh, like, duh. Like, I knew he was going to say that to me. Okay, Calamari, listen. Things happen to people because we change. And we're trying to find our way. We're trying to know who we are as people. But it's just, it just happens like this sometimes, you know? Yeah, but this man was different. He would always talk to me, massage me, compliment me of my flowers, and you know, all that other stuff. It really meant a lot. Yeah, but sometimes, Calamari, sometimes, I'm trying to get the word out correctly, sometimes love can be a little tricky, especially when you're the only girl trying to get that guy. It's just not easy. Yeah, you say that's not easy, but it needs to love to be easy when it can be, but you don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's been three days and he hasn't talked to me. Don't worry. Don't worry, Calamari. I'm going to make him talk to you tonight, and he's going to have fun. You'll see. He will see the day that he messed up. Not talking to us girls is simply out of question. Simply out of question! Okay? Yeah, same here. What are you doing here, Vanilla White? Well, you said we need to talk about things. So let's talk. Sister to sister. Yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. We're supposed to like do things better, okay? Yeah, but I think we only take our stroke of line. <laughs> yeah, right, stroke of line. <laughs> this. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, ladies. <laughs> I was wondering, uh, I couldn't help but listen to your conversation. <laughs> it was a little, uh, strange. I heard what you girls were talking about, and I was kind of like, you know, thinking about something. <laughs> what do you want? You don't even talk to Calamari that much. And you surprisingly sneak up on her? Well, I don't sneak up on her. I just want to, you know, talk to her for a little bit. Talk to her about what? You honestly have nothing to say to her. Okay. That was a little uncalled for. That was a little uncalled for. Actually, I'm here because I heard that she uh, is feeling kind of sad. Yeah, you don't call her anymore. Well, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. I'm sorry, Calamari. But <laughs> work was tied up today. Hey, hey, hey. What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to cuddle up with you guys. Come on. Can I just stay here? No, you cannot stay here. No. This is so not cool. This is so not prerogative for you to stay here with us. Oh, come on, can a guy just get a time of his own? No, you cannot. I did not allow it. Neither did my sister. You know? Yeah, you never call me. What's wrong with you, Kevin? Babe, I go to work every day. You understand that? I have to go to work every day. Yeah, but you don't talk to me. I try to talk to you. I try to give you text message last night. Apparently, you didn't. Yeah, you didn't. It won't even matter if you even get the text or not. Well, I try to call, babe. Things are a little different. Times are a little stressful, and I I, I can't seem to make it on time. <laughs> you hear that, Calamari? He decides he can't make it on time, but yet he comes now to talk to you about everything. Like, get out of here, like, go or something. <laughs> okay, okay, I I'm gonna go. You know what? Fine. I thought I could talk to you girls, like... Like a real person? No. But, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm done. I, I, I can't do this. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Relationships are hard. So, yeah. My first experience with a girl, man. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, this was hard. Okay, uh, all right, I'm going home. Yeah, you do that. Go home. Come back when you really have good things to say about us. <laughs> the things about men. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I try to be a nice man. Apparently, I'm not nice enough. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's real messed up. <laughs> yeah, somebody does. See what I mean? <laughs> Oh, wow. Calamari, can you believe that? What he said about you? Yeah, it just doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Calamari. I'm your best friend. We could always talk. Yeah, it's just... He doesn't really get... Um... Yeah, I know. These men are very, very stressful. Very stressful indeed. He won't even tell me like when he took my last picture. No way! Yeah, I guess he didn't want me to know. Oh, he wanted you to know, Calamari. He's just too embarrassed. <laughs> what you guys talking about? Nothing, Vanilla White! Mind your business! Come over here, Calamari. Gosh, Vanilla White always had a conversation! Yeah, I guess she's just... You're just being genuine, right? Of course I am. I'm always genuine. <sighs> See, Calamari? I know what I'm saying about myself. Yeah, but you gotta remember, Calamari. She is kind of like... Uh, iffy on things, you know what I mean? Yeah, like the time when she went to the bird squats and then her friends told her that she should have kick. No, I, uh, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Are you serious, Brittany? You really have to say that right now? What? Well, I thought I was talking about something good. <laughs> no! Okay, back to you, Calamari. Tell me, what's on your mind about him? I want to know now. It's just... When he came to talk to us by the fence. Yeah? It just seemed like he wasn't, like, legit about it. I'll tell you why he wasn't legit about it, Calamari. He wants you to suffer. He does? Yes. He doesn't tell you, but... He's obviously on the budget of something. <sighs> but take my word for it, Calamari. I know what it's like to have a man. Brush behind your feet. Taking you seriously, but... Really, you just figure out it's not always meant to be, you know? It's just one of those things about guys that you just kind of like flawlessly believe and you think he's going to give you all the presents you need and he's going to give you all the gifts. Well, let me tell you something, sister. Those gifts are sometimes not always available. And I got my first gift by this one guy named uh, John and he never came back ever since. Like, I never saw his face ever again and he never tweeted me anything ever again. He never tweeted you? Nope. Nope. He left me totally stranded in the middle of a deserted island. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, like that time you were cutting that guy, Johnny. <laughs> oh, be quiet, Brittany. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. <sighs> Brittany is on the spectrum. She has a high tolerance for talking to me. And apparently this goes on for a long time. Yeah, like that time when you were hanging out with that other guy named Justin, and then he told you how to have fun with him. <laughs> yeah, you would explain true love. Would explain true love. He hanged out with her only one time, and that was it. No other discussion about that guy was ever called by any soul. And you see, Tom Murray, what I have to live with? This is what I have to live with. A twin sister who doesn't even like. Oh my gosh, Calamari, she just doesn't get it. I just wish she was a normal sister. I'm like, why, God, why can I not get a normal sister? Like, what is going on? Like, has the world gone mad? Well, I used to hang around on people that were a little bit different, a little disabled. No, but this is different, Calamari. I deal with this every day. Like, my gosh, like, you, you gotta, you, you gotta let yourself know those things, like, ahead of time, like, when you're, like, trying to, like, Think about things? Yeah, but I keep thinking about them. That's the problem, Calamari. We gotta solve what that could be. You know how these guys are. One minute they're nice to you, one minute they're giving you flowers, one minute they're telling you I love you, be my Valentine's brother, and the next thing you find out, they're never available. What are you doing over there? I'm trying to fix the fence. It keeps falling. Stop touching the fence! Us girls will handle it. Nah, I figured it needs a little help. 
This one give it uh, just a little push. Ugh. Thanks anyway, but we didn't really ask for you to help us. Sorry. I just thought it'd be nice for a guy to help around. Besides, guys need to tighten those edges. <laughs> yeah, you guys really, yeah. <laughs> you guys really need like a chaperone to just to check around, you know what I mean? Yeah, a chaperone, we already got it covered. We don't need a chaperone, Kevin. Well, thought I could help. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, again, he's always sorry about something. Like, he's sorry about everything else, but he can never say sorry about the one thing that he knows. Well, this has been a long conversation. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, you did that, Vanilla White. Go on about your life. We didn't ask for this. Seriously, we did not ask for this. <laughs> Just abandon these ladies. <laughs> if, only they, if only they knew. If only they knew Calvary, I'm telling you. Our worst competitor yet? Ugh. That's lame to come. Ugh. Yeah, but... If he just sees me differently. Like the way I used to hold him. Touch him. And I don't even see him. And it's been years. Like, literal years. Oh, tell me. I got years of my own. I'm gonna explain, okay? Listen, Calamari. I had years where I was, like, thinking about, like, leaving Justin. But then I realized I was with Danny, and then I was with Philip. I couldn't leave any of those guys. I couldn't even tell one of them apart ever since I dated them. It's like the whole world's gone to a freaking apocalypse. And when I say apocalypse, I'm talking about, like, apocalyptal love. Yeah, it just seems like it's like that a lot. Yeah. So don't worry about that, okay? Don't worry about that silly stuff. That's petty. <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> of course. That's what I'm here for. Sisters always do sisters.